evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the South Florida Tribune Podcast. My name is Scott Morgan, from the Motor City Madmouth, and I'm joined by my weekly co-host, Ron Renzi of Wabur. Ron, good evening. Good evening. And we have a special guest today, and a, lady, a woman I'm all too familiar with and very grateful, and her name is Anna Diaz Granados. How did I do with that? Very good, very good. Hello, everybody. Hi, Ron. Hi, Scott. Nice hey, Anna. Hi. Good to see you. I'm a quick study. Let me see if I can do an audio visual replay. Anna Diaz Granatos. Very good. I bet from the whole city anyway. So anyways, just so you know, folks, Anna is the owner of Sir Pro of Sunrise here in Sunrise, Florida. She's been the owner for 14 years. So Anna, she's one person you can always turn to if you run into any kind of mold, restoration, and so forth. And with that said, Anna, why don't you let the audience know what services you uh, do you provide and where? And I also have to put you in the essential business category because when everybody was shut down, you weren't. Yes. Uh, again, good evening, everybody. Nice to be here. And thank you for the invite, Scott. Nice to be together with Ron here at this podcast. Uh, like you mentioned, my name is Ana Diaz Granados. Uh, my last name is a Latin last name because I was born in Colombia, South America. But I've been the, the owner of Sir Pro Sunrise, a franchise, for 14 years. So we are one of the essential business, like you said, in this pandemic. And we are a 24-hour emergency cleaning and restoration. And we provide emergency services like water and fire mold and damage restoration. We, we help uh, homeowners and commercial businesses for anything they may need in those categories. And you also talk about COVID cleaning as well. You know, this is a sign of the times, unfortunately. So we'll have you get into COVID cleaning. After all, this is the trending uh, flavor of the day, COVID cleaning. Yes. Um, Sir Pro, our corporate office that is located in Gallatin, Tennessee, uh, came up with this uh, great program that is called Certified Sir Pro Clean. So we are uh, trained, insured, certified, as a service provider. And in this pandemic, uh, we were one of the best companies to be doing COVID cleaning. So we came up with certain levels of cleaning. And the first level was when um, you wanted to be preventive and have a safe, a safe of mind and people to come to work or to save at home, a peace of mind. So we provided a, a foggy, uh, in their places and also there was a second level that is called when you think there was a, a, a case or you thought you had a case or somebody that you met had a COVID issue and then we provided fogging and wiped down everywhere and, and the third level that uh, we clean is when you have a COVID certified a COVID proven case so we come up with a more detailed uh, fogging and with more detail wipe down everything every surfaces and we do it for residential and businesses we've done a lot of those uh, it's been we are one of the essential businesses so we were always working since the day number one with all the CDC uh, precautions with all the tea guidelines all our crews and teams were we were the mass we were we do the social distancing, uh, the cleaning, the sanitizing, washing of the hands. We also take temperature when we come into the warehouse. And uh, we are uh, one of the safe companies that you can call. We are located in Sunrise, but if you call us directly, we can go everywhere or anywhere. Uh, when there's an emergency, we try to be there on site within the hour. Or if they're mold or COVID, we try to come and do an inspection and then we can schedule one of the jobs. Wow. I had a question about the, the let, let's say, example that an office has a uh, confirmed COVID case and they need a level three cleaning. So they call you and then you said you can you do an inspection and you come out. So let's say if you can get there, you could probably get there the next day. Is that what you said? Yes. Yes. Okay. In the case of, of um, when a, it's a proven case of COVID, which we've done in a lot of businesses. We even did, wow. do it, did it in the Hollywood for Lauderdale Airport for some stores, in Miami Airport also for some stores, and in some shopping centers we did it also. It's a, we charge per square footage, 
and depending okay. on the, the size, the level, uh, because we have to clean everything. But yes, uh, we've done it in the evenings, during the weekends, as soon as possible. When they call us, most of the business owners want it fast. They wanted to have uh, their customers or the uh, or their staff with peace of mind. So we do it as soon as possible. And okay. how long does something like that take? Let's say it's a, a small, like you said, a store in a shopping center. Is that like several days or how, how, how does that happen? Uh, well, Ron, it, like I say, it depends on the square footage. We've okay. done work in two, three hours. Usually, uh, maybe wow. a small condo, we can do it like in a two to, to three hours, a house, maybe uh, mo the morning. But when we've done uh, uh, businesses and warehouses and offices that are more than 10,000 square foot uh, and things like that, we two, three days, it can take. Hmm. We've done work, a job wow. for two or three days, yes. All right, so we've done it also for cities. Mm -hmm. Go into more details about water damage, leak, flood, and how those jobs go about, because those got to be pretty extensive uh, jobs when you're dealing with any of those three particular areas. I can only imagine uh, the complexity of those types of jobs. Yes. Um, in the case of a water damage or a leak or a flood, uh, we, we consider that an emergency. We are 24 hours. We have a live office from 8 to 5, and we have our answering services and our, our crews on call in case anybody needs us. So if they call us at the middle of the night, we immediately, uh, the person who calls or if a property manager who calls, whoever give us the call, we ask all the questions and we get all the details. And then if he's within the business hours, we can be there maybe within the hour and after business hours, uh, around two hours to get to the job. So wow. um, we, that's an emergency for us. So if there's water to strike, we go immediately with our truck, with our machines, with our extractors, with our drying equipment, with our moisture meters. And then we, we go, we, we assess the damage first. We take photos, we document everything. Uh, we have um, some documents that, that the person has to sign or whoever is in charge of the job, the responsible person. They sign the document, we start the job. If there's water to extract, we strike the water. And if there's a drywall to cut or vapor to remove or things like that, it depends. We go ahead. So every job is different. It, it's a, it can be clean water. It can be a swatch backup. It can be um, gray water. There's certain different levels of, of water damages. So not every job is the same. Uh, most of the people use their homeowner's insurance to, uh, to take care of the, of the water damage. If you have uh, an insurance, uh, then you can maybe use it with a claim number. They provide us a claim number and we take care of all the documents, everything. We send it to the insurance company. We work with all insurance companies. But if you don't have insurance or maybe your deductible is too high or the job is too small and you want to take care of it, if you want to pay directly, of course, we handle all, all those jobs also, or the association, or the bank, or the realtor. There's all kinds of jobs we do. And if you, uh, we, all, we always recommend to call a, a trusted company that is trained and insured to make the job right and dry it properly. Because if you don't dry it properly, or you don't call a company like Surfer of Sunrise, then you may, uh, have an issue with mold because mold grows because of humidity. If you don't dry properly and this kind of climate in South Florida, there's a lot of issues of mold around us. So, so if you, I just had a question. So if you have a, a water issue, do you have certain crews that deal with certain kind of things or are your crews trained for anything that, that you may have, whether, you know, whatever kind of water damage you may have? Yes, they are trained for every kind of water. They are certified, we are trained um, and certified with the Institute of Cleaning and Inspection that is called IIRC for our industry. So yes, they are trained for any kind of water damages and they are trained for any kind of mold. And also we do the fire cleaning too. So we have different crews and they are on calls different days. 
but we have the supervisor, the crew chief, the production manager that has all the experience to, to do the, the jobs. Like I said, if it's a water damage or a leak or something, it's an emergency. But if sometimes people call after a few days that they had already the leak and they think that everything is dry, then we schedule the job. We go there and uh, schedule it, uh, do the inspection first. And sometimes they still have the drywall wet. So sometimes the flooring or the carpet, depending on what's going on, it can be wet and then we have to uh, set up some drying equipment. Or sometimes there's not even evidence of, of water, but then we start seeing mold because it's maybe several days after the, um, the water damage or the, the running of the water or the issue that happened. Okay, I got a two-part question, Anna. First of all, do you find in some instances where homeowners are have to leave their homes for an extended period of time uh, because of the nature of the mold and the smell and all the type of issues? Because I know full well I have a cousin that had to leave her place for a while, and then you have to deal with other alternative housing like hotels and so forth. And, you know, she was, again, forced to find an alternative because the house was not healthy enough for her to stay in. Oh, yes, that happens a lot down here. There's a lot of properties that are, are owned by uh, people that don't live here in, in, in around us or in Southeast Florida. And if they don't have somebody that goes and checks the property or they think that everything is fine because they left and left their AC on, it, it can happen. The, the, the AC stops or the power goes off or things like that. We had an issue today, for example, we went for a mold case, a condo unit uh, that is located um, around Deerfield Beach. The, the owner lives, for example, in this case in Brazil. The AC went off for several months. Nobody checked the apartment. We went, we went there today to check it and do the assessment. It's a huge mold problem he has because of a lack of AC. This is something we have to be um, on top of the AC, we can never stop. Uh, we can never turn off our AC. And if we leave our, our property for a few days, it's incredible how the humidity, the level of humidity that we have around us, that can affect. Of course, you can have a small, small, a small mold problem, like in an AC closet, like in um, a little space in the roof. You can have a very, very small issue and you can have a very big issue. There's a lot of, of, of mold jobs that we've done, very, very small, big jobs, depending of, of, of the cases. And like I said, sometimes even you have a water damage and uh, because a leak of maybe if you live in a building happened on the top floor or several floors and, and your unit is empty, nobody noticed and then can start the problem because yeah, I, of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can only imagine perhaps a homeowner might have to leave their home for the better part of one or two, three months if these things are, you spiral out of control. Is, isn't that the case? Oh, yes. Yes, I don't, maybe not a month, but like I'd say, yeah, a few days. Some, um, there are some jobs that, because we, in, in the mall jobs, uh, we, you know where the, the problem is. We also recommend most of the times to have a mold test done. And the uh, results of this mold, mold test that comes in a protocol, in a document that says the level of, of moisture and the kind of mold you have um, will tell you exactly uh, and plus our, our inspection and our experience to know where is the problem. If, if it's only in a, a room, then we do a containment we separate, uh, isolate the, 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 the place where the mold is from the rest of the house. So you can stay at your house if this is a small issue because uh, there's uh, isolation. Like, said, like I said, there's not cross-contamination. Cross the spores will not go for the rest of the house because we place a containment and work inside the containment if that's the case. But sometimes if it's the whole property, uh, yeah, every case is different. Every case uh, that well, we find out. Anna, because you're talking about, I'm guessing you guys have very specialized equipment to deal with these things. Um, have you ever run into um, 
people that call companies that aren't specialists and and then you have to go in and correct what they did that they don't have all the high tech equipment that you guys have uh yeah there are some insurance companies that uh have called us and i guess they call other companies to to go and check jobs that some other restoration company have done and then uh they call us and they tell the uh do the assessment and tell us how the job was done. And, um, and then we provide a document and we tell them what do we think. And if it's uh, dry properly, uh, we measure and do all the moisture readings and we tell them and what we think. We give them our, our, our experience. But yes, that happens that um, insurance company tell us to go or sometimes... Um, there has been cases even when uh, they are restoration companies in in certain houses or and the customer doesn't feel uh, satisfied with the job and then they say, please come and finish this job, even a property manager, an adjuster, finish this job because we are not happy or it's taking too many days. So, yeah, it happens. And is it? I just want one more, what's one more question. Is it fair to say that this is not something that a homeowner or a business owner should ever attempt to try to do by themselves? I mean, you have to have knowledge. You have to have special equipment. I mean, have you ever ran to where a homeowner says, oh, I'll just, I don't even know what they would do, but to try to do it without, you know, without a, a, a professional? Excellent. Oh, yes. Yes, exactly. Yes, that happens. That happens a lot of times. People uh, don't think that uh, it's important to call a restoration company that has the experience. They think that if they uh, mop the floors or they rent in places, example, like Home Depot, of what they people call fun, but we call it uh, air movers. Uh, if they bring them to their houses, they will be safe. It's, it's important to call a restoration company. For example, in our case, my office, Sir Pro Sunrise, we don't charge to do the inspection. We do free inspections. So we always tell uh, people who call or we advertise in our social uh, media and our web, we do free inspections, call us for anything you, you may need. We do a business consultation at no charge. We can um, measure, do our moisture meter. We've done a lot of business consultation and there's nothing to worry about it. We, we provide the customer like our, our safe results and we tell them like, you are good, everything is dry. But we, we really recommend to call a company like, like ours. We will let them know if there's uh, something to, uh, to, that we need to dry or everything is dry. Sometimes even there's not work for us. There may be work for uh, somebody that, um, let's see, installs carpets or maybe it's on a roof or, or things like that. There'll be jobs for other people. Sometimes when we inspect and we say, no, no, this is a window sliding door problem. You need to call a, a company that specializes in these kind of things. And that's why we also um, refer a lot of vendors because we have a network of trust, trusted vendors that, that work around us in case there's um, some other issues that we, we don't do. We don't do everything. We are not plumbers, for example. We tell the homeowner, if you need to call a plumber, call the plumber, have fixed your leak or your pipe, and then we come in to dry the place because we are not going to, we, it's not honest to start drying if the leak's still going on. So in this case, we said we, we, we recommend to call a plumber and things like that. But yes, there's a lot of people that try to do it themselves. Some of them, unfortunately, uh, after it's going to be expensier to, to fix whatever it's damaged than to call it at the beginning. That's why we sell the sooner, the faster, the sooner it's less, less expensive because it's, it's better to um, restore than to replace. So that's one of the things we do. That was a great question, Ron. I'm glad you brought that up. Thank you. Yes. So with that said, let's talk about the medical repercussions if you don't deal with these kinds of things. As I've heard in the past, I've heard respiratory issues are a result of, you know, ignoring these things a little bit. And, you know, that's just one of the things. Are there any other medical things 
uh, that have come out that you've heard of, Anna, that uh, consumers should be aware of if you neglect this problem. Of course, everybody knows respiratory because obviously that's a part of the breathing aspect of things. But what other ones have you, uh, medical issues, are you known to have found out if you are not proactive about this whole situation? Uh, thank you, Scott, for asking that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but what, the, what I can mention is that we receive a lot of calls and people call us at saying like they have, uh, for example, um, they sneeze a lot, they have runny, running eyes or, you know, the nose, and they have like some health issues they, and they think maybe there's a mold problem around them because they don't feel like they are breathing properly or right. sometimes they feel a smell in their houses that they think or they see maybe a black or green stain and they call us and like i said sometimes they may there must be an issue sometimes uh there's nothing like uh it's only like cleanable and like for example uh, um an example very that we handle every day is our showers when you shower there's a lot of water there and there's a lot of moisture and sometimes you start you start seeing black stains and it's not it may not be mold it's just like the water there if you clean uh, like uh, and and you dry as and a, and a cleaning experience and a cleaning thing like normal cleaning service then you you will have nothing to worry about so sometimes it, it's a, like a cleaning of the ac dot we also do dot cleaning Sometimes we go and there's really no, no mold issue. There may be a problem in the AC dots, and then we clean also the, the dots. Very good. All right, so let's pivot over to fire damage. I know we talked about cigarettes and smell from pets. You know, so I think those are things that really people should be aware of that cigarettes, number one, I don't like them anyways. I've never smoked when my grandfather <laughs> died uh, at the age of 55. I vowed to never smoke and knock on wood some 47 years later i've been able to stay true to that old thing but cigarettes to me i never liked to date anybody that had cigarette smell anyways let alone the fact that cigarette and they never anybody that smoked never came into my home so let's talk about cigarette smell as well as pet smell i mean let's not take those two bad boys lightly they're bad <laughs> well it's called you you've done your research very good uh, yes, we, we have also, we, besides restoration, we have a lot and we do several cleaning services. We offer cleaning services. One of them is called the odorization. And we provide it when, there's our, when there are uh, cigarettes, uh, smells, smoke smells, there's soot. Also when there are pets. So uh, we have uh, in our machines, in our equipment, we have like hydroxyl generator. We have ozone machines. And we have special products that are only, we buy them directly from Surpro. Our corporate office has their own uh, lab. And we only buy professional products that are made in our, uh, in our industry. Uh, so um, we provide um, uh, these kind of services, especially for rental um, areas, like rental communities, for senior facilities, for real estate people, we provide these deodorization products. And sometimes, I, I also, I've never smoked in my life, but um, there's not only smoke and, and um, pets thing, but sometimes there are very, very uh, problems like uh, because of garbage, not cleaning properly, mm -hmm. or uh, sometimes maybe, uh, cat, uh, cat urine is a problem that goes around a lot. So things like that, uh, unfortunately, some elderly people that have problems th about uh, living by themselves and things like that, they come up with these deodorization problems and then we, we can provide help from them. That, that sounds like a great service if somebody's going to sell their house or, or you know, rent, because I guess if you, especially if you are used to it, you might not realize the amount of odors, odors that are there and somebody will come in and they won't buy your house because they sell cigarettes, you know, permeating the whole house. So it must be a great service. You can kind of clean it out. And then when the next person comes in, it must just smell nice. Now, after you do that, is it, do you add like nice scents or anything or is it just pristine 
clean or, or, or how do you how do you leave that so you don't smell that nasty cigarettes or or other icky <laughs> things anymore yes we we do that a lot for uh people in the real estate businesses mm -hmm. we we tell them and we have um we also do uh education we do uh, continuous education classes and we we have a class for a realtor that is called um a clean home sales faster so we provide um those it's it's really we call them cleaning services but it's more than than cleaning services because of our, our professional products, they are concentrated. And because of our experience, we know how to uh, mix them, how to use them. They are different products for, for walls, for floors, for smells, for, uh, for, uh, to kill germs. We, we have a lot of, of things that uh, to um, disinfect and sanitize and, uh, or some products have their these nice smells that uh, you can uh, like, and we try to leave a very nice smell. So if there's a lesson to be learned here, folks, okay, other than the fact that if you're watching this broadcast and listening to it, make sure you have a notepad and a pen. You're going to take a lot of notes because you're going to have to listen to this and watch it a lot of times. But don't underestimate pet odor. Don't underestimate cigarette smell, because I'll tell you what, when you're showing this home and you decide to sell it, the biggest deterrent on the planet is something that smells bad. So with that said, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, pivot over to mold, because we know Anna and Ron, that this is a big concern in Florida. So talk, go oh, yeah. into some more details, Anna, about a mold job. Uh, well, usually in a mold job, um, as mentioned before, we get a lot of calls from different kind of people, residential, commercial. Uh, we, 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 we are called by property managers, real estate people, regular customers, also by associations. Uh, well, you, you can name it. Um, so even uh, janitorial companies, we can receive a call from anybody. And then we can, what we do is we schedule the, the, an appointment. We always, in a mold case, in a fire issue, things like that are not emergency or we don't call them emergency. We, we make an appointment and we go and do our inspection. So we are certified to do uh, mold jobs, mold remediation in the whole state of Florida. Um, our production manager, Gustavo, has the certification to do the assessment of the mold. So uh, we go out there and then Again, we take some photos, we take some videos, and based on our experience, and sometimes people have already done their mold test, or if not, we recommend to do the mold test. That, by the way, that's very important to, to talk about this. We don't do the test. We do the mold job. We are not a mold assessor. It's a conflict of interest, and it's not honest. It's not professional to do the test and do the job. Um, if you take that, test, we recommend always a third party because a third party is a, the person who really can tell what is going on. And based on that report and our experience and our inspection, we can do the work because the, the assessor gives some guidelines of, of what he recommends to do. So um, then after we do our mold job, we do the, the, the like I said, the inspection, the photos, then we provide an estimate. In that estimate, if there's job to be done, we provide an estimate of what amount of job we need to do, how long will it take, how much will it cost, and then we provide the estimate or to the insurance company or directly to the customer, and when it gets approved, then we come in and we do the job. It can take one day, it can take several days, and then after we finish the job, we if there's a case where the mold assessor came in, we recommend to do an after test because we want the customer to be uh, safe and to know that we did a good job. So this test, this, the after test will provide and will let them know that the mold is gone, that there's no more, more issue with the mold. We also guarantee the mold job for a year unless something unusual happens because if the AC, uh, has a problem or there's a 
like a hurricane and then you have no roof, there are certain and, uh, circumstances that can come along, then the things change. But usually if nothing happens, we uh, guarantee the job. And then after the test comes clean, we call them clean, you know that you are safe. So we are mold remediators. Some people ask, what is remediation? Remediation is to do the mold job, to get rid of the mold, to kill the mold, to make you uh, safe in your houses. All right, so let's go back to COVID because obviously I can't get away from it. And again, nobody shouldn't, knowing that this is a pandemic. I know you've educated everybody so far about COVID. Are there certain points that you haven't mentioned that people should be aware of about COVID? Because, you know, we want to make sure that everybody out there, that we don't leave any stones unturned, especially dealing with COVID. Uh, Well, in the the COVID cases, uh, we always recommend uh, to call a company that is trained to do COVID cleaning. Um, out there, there's a lot of services that are uh, people that are providing. I can do a fogging and you're safe. No, you, you really need to call a professional to do that for you. We recommend that if after you are tested negative, then to come and have a COVID cleaning, because if you still have the virus, there's no way that it's going to help to do the, the COVID cleaning and still you have the virus. So we recommend when you already know that uh, you tested negative to come and do the cleaning. Well, with that said, okay, uh, you talk about that, but what about kind of risk are there with your installers and your employees not knowing exactly what the homeowner has been exposed to? I imagine that you have to have extra protection, not only gloves and so forth, but, you know, I know individuals, aren't really playing it safe even though they're supposed to. You have to protect yourself as well. The last thing you need is a pandemic sweeping through your company. Uh, yeah, correct, Scott, yes. And that's a very good point. Yes, we follow the, all the CDC precautions. We wear Tyvek suits depending on, on the issues, the amount of, of, of COVID or the amount of exposure. But we have our face masks. We have our Tyvek suits. Yes, we are protected. We have our gloves, uh, our shoe covers, everything. So the customer knows that uh, we are going to go inside and do a great job and then go out and we um, get rid of everything we've used. And if we had to remove things from inside the place or the customer ask us, I don't want, I want you to take my, let's say an example, my sofa out or something like that, we then have to to cover it with all the precautions and take all the steps to get rid. The same thing with the mold. You cannot get rid of furniture or or, or things from mold and just throw them in a a regular dumpster. You have to uh, cover them in a special plastic bags, special thick uh, plastic things uh, to get rid of of contaminated items. But Eddie, you're talking about the, you wear a special Tyvek suit suits. Are those what are those ones? Because we uh, for the average person, are those like the yellow ones you see uh, people wearing TV that they're very protective, or are they what, what 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 is a Tyvek suit? Well, they they are all kind of color. Those are like coveralls. Ours are are white with our Surpro logo there. Oh, okay. They, they go from top to bottom like uh, it's like looking like a, a, the doctors now when you see them on the TV, that's kind of the type of suits. They cover your I head and, you, and then you put your face on and then the whole is a, a whole suit that's a, a cover. Gotcha. Well, you actually brought, brought up a point about a sur- how will um, how will people know that it is a sur, uh, sur pro pro that's coming? Do you have your logo on your on your vans and on your 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 employees uniforms they know it's really a surpro sunrise person not some imposter <laughs> yes um surpro is green we are all green vans we have our uh, green machines uh we have our logos everywhere in our trucks in our vans in our uniforms we we are um all our our, our, our our techs, our teams, and all the surpros around us, all the surpros in the United States, because this is a company 
that has more than 50 years in the industry. We are in the United States and in Canada. We are around 1,800 uh, franchises. And so we do work everywhere. Now we, there's a lot of surplus, a lot of, of, uh, of franchises in the hurricane, in the panhandle, working in Louisiana, and they're helping people about the hurricane and all the water damage and all the flood that happened. So we are very well known in the, in the, in the, in the United States and by the insurance industry. We are recognized. And uh, like I said, we are even the big sponsor of the PGA uh, golf tournament. And this is a, a big company, trusted and very recognized. So um, yes, we are, we use our logos everywhere. So you know that you are using um, a Surpro company. And like I said, Surpro Sunrise, our, our team works and has all the words of Surpro Sunrise. And, and if you call our local, local number or if you go to our social media post directly to ours, you can call us and then we can go and help you out. Very good. So let's talk about the workload during the hurricane season. I know that, you know, for a period of several months, Okay, not that you're not busy year round, but hurricane season has to be a little bit of a boost to you, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes. Everybody tells us, um, oh, you love hurricanes. Not really. Uh, we, we I, I always say like, I like a lot of rain, but not a hurricane. Hurricane is very stressful for everybody. Hurricanes are, um, it's a lot of work. But in Surpro, we have big team. We have large loss team. We have cats teams. We have hurricane teams. So when there's a hurricane, we have a lot of, of help. So when last uh, when we experienced our last hurricane around here, Surpro from all over the United States come to help here in Southeast Florida, like we've done now with them up north. So. People and everybody gets stressed and start calling us as soon as they see that uh, we can go out. But sometimes we have to tell them, be calm, because first of all, the, the first day or the first few days of a hurricane, nobody can go out. It's impossible because of the flooding, because of the power issues. There's a lot of things. And, and we try to make people understand, like, We'll be there, we'll help you, and then th then we have also, it's at least can be unbelievable. We try to, uh, to help everybody. It's impossible to help everybody the first days, but we try as much as possible. And like, uh, like I said, we get help from other surplus to try to be and dry their places as soon as possible. But yes, to, to handle a hurricane, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy, and you have to have uh, a lot of, of experience, a lot, a lot of equipment, and teams already uh, trained. It's, it's, it's. Um, but the the, I always say that in a hurricane, you need to call your local uh, uh, restoration company. It can be my office, Surpro and Rice. It can be another Surpro around us. But because we are here, we tell them we are your neighbors. So call us. Don't, it's not the same thing to work with a, another company that is out of the state that comes to, to do jobs that to work with your neighbor, uh, our company that has been here, like, like Scott mentioned, almost 14 years. And I'm also a women certified uh, whole, a business owner. So there's a lot of, of um, trusted in our uh, trust in our in our office and in my company. So Anna, is there a particular hurricane or two that stands out during your 14 years in this business? We always have to go out there and pin the tail on one or two of these. <laughs> uh, well, in, in, in the 14 years, I, I think I've experienced only really like uh, two. We had a lot of years with no hurricanes, like 11 years, I think. I've experienced two, one, uh, was not so uh, local here and the last one that we had in two years ago. Okay, fair enough. Okay, Ron, okay. do you want to add anything to it? 
No, I, I, I've actually learned a lot. One thing is, I don't know if we talked about fire, because you, you do handle that, which is the opposite of flood. So it's complete opposite. That must be a totally different way of dealing with things, huh? Uh, yes, thank you for reminding us uh, to talk about a little about fire. Fire uh, issues happen a lot. Uh, in the kitchen, really? every day, there's a risk of having a fire hazard. We are all cooking. Uh, we forget this technology, these Zoom meetings, the social, the phone makes you maybe forget that you're cooking. So there's, it can be issues, small or big. So it can be a small fire, a big fire, but there's a lot of soot. Even in a small fire, a smoke, uh, there can be a lot of smell. There can be a lot of soot. So we always also recommend to call us and then we go and do our inspection and do our assessment and provide you what needs to be done. Uh, in the case of a fire, believe it or not, um, we have to clean the whole, the whole area. If it's a big house, a big house. If it's a small condo, small condo. If it's an office, the whole office. You, because there's level of suits everywhere. Some are stronger than others. And sometimes also um, cigarette, people that smoke, Right. Um, mm -hmm. there's an issue if, 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 if they don't take care properly or they forget, they get sleep with the smoking. So there's can be a lot of, of, of fire things. Like I said, sometimes only suit, there can be only suit and, 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 um, but, um, it's good to call a professional. They will, and they will help you with that. We have a special cleaning programs for, for the fire cleaning, even when um, sometimes people don't know when the, um, there's a break-in in your house, when there's a break-in and, and the police gets involved, uh, there's some, the, this powder that the policeman use for, to take the fingerprints and things like that, it's not easy to clean. And we have to treat it like with some chemicals, special chemicals, like in, in those cases of like the fires and similar things to get rid of that, um, of that uh, dust. We have um, air scrubbers, we call them air scrubbers that we use for mold, we use for fire, and the filters are changed and are different filters to clean the air depending of, of the cause of the fire issue or the mold issue. So, so yes, uh, also, uh, for example, not cleaning, not, not cleaning your dryer vents, it's a fire hazard. So that's something that I recommend for everybody who's listening and for you to make sure that you do also regularly a dryer vent uh, in your house because the lint can be also a fire hazard. All right, Anna, first, what differentiates you from other companies, your competitors out there? <laughs> well, um, I always say that uh, a customer service, we, we provide great customer services we provide good prices. We don't want to, uh, we don't overcharge. We are very honest and we tell people uh, we are honest and uh, you can feel safe with us. We are a small company, a family owned company. I'm the owner of the company, Women Certified. And uh, you can see our reviews on our web, uh, our photos, our blogs, our, our all the job we've done also in our social media, and you can make sure that you are calling um, a trusted company. And like I say, again, we don't overcharge. We try to be fair and we can tell anybody that uh, if you don't feel good with us or safe with us, uh, be honest and, and let us know. But um, I highly recommend to give us the opportunity to, to work for you. All right, with that said, why don't we segue over so that everybody can go ahead and get hold of Anna diaz Granetos, and I'm working on the pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Um, good, good, Scott. You pronounce it very good. <laughs> I have a, a two-word name, a two-word last name, so it's not easy. So everybody calls me Anna. So next time, don't worry about my last name. I'm Anna for everybody. <laughs> Oh, but I've had to practice to make sure I get it right. Let's face it. I had the good fortune of meeting Anna, okay, at the South Florida Networking Coalition. That's a group that meets three times every uh, Tuesday morning. Okay, we've been doing these meetings virtual. 
you know, for a while with COVID-19. Then again, not everybody doing through Zoom, but, but again, <laughs> South Florida Networking Coalition, by which Ron Renzi told me about in the first place, headed by Drew uh, Picard and Warren Drucker. With that said, Anna, why don't you let everybody know about your website, and then Ron will give his information, and I'll wrap it up as well. So go ahead, Anna. The floor is yours in terms of how they can get a hold of Anna Diaz Granados. Thank you, but your last name is not all, not easy to pronounce as well. So. Well, that's why everybody goes by the Motor City Madmouth and Scott. Forget about the last name. The <laughs> most time you ever really need is on LinkedIn, social media, and I don't even put it on Twitter, so don't worry about that. And I should point out that since I'm bringing Twitter up, Anna does a really good job helping us out with the South Florida Tribune by retweeting some important information, both not only content-wise, but some of our broadcasts as well. And we're grateful for that. She also provides us content from time to time that she, uh, that goes on the South Florida Tribune. So I don't worry about my last name. They don't even think about my last name. They go by Scott. That's, uh, you know, you go by Scott, it's like towels, okay? But I haven't gotten a darn residual on any of those. Things, so. <laughs> but, but well, let them know how get a hold of you. So we are all Scott, Ron, and Anna, yes, right here. There okay, make sure that if uh, if you want or you need us, call Surpro of Sunrise. We are located in Sunrise, but uh, we can go anywhere that you call us. We are, our webpage is surprosunrise.com. You can uh, go there and ch check it out. Our social media is also Surpro Sunrise with the offer without the offer, Surpro Sunrise. You can go in Instagram, Twitter. We also have YouTube, Facebook, and we provide a lot of content. We are very active in our social media, and not only with jobs and photos we provide, but we provide contents that can help you out there uh, to know what's going on and how to prevent. We have our, like I said, the COVID program, the CSC, and also uh, enforcing to wear masks everybody because we still need to protect ourselves to continue with the social distancing wiping our hands or uh, cleaning our hands and wiping everything so you go to surprosunrise.com and you can see a lot of uh, of things and that you can learn from all right Ron. your phone is there there you go well you know what for those of you that uh, aren't looking at it, we'll see how good my vision is. But the phone is 954-748-7887. And number again is 954-748-7887. There you go. All right, Ron. I don't know if I can hear you louder than that. Depends on how much caffeine I have. Go well, th <laughs> well, thanks, Scott. My uh, firm is law firm is Wahlberg and Renzi PA. Our number is 954 seven five seven one two one two we're located in coral springs in Broward county florida we can also be reached at info at walberg renzi.com and walberg renzi on social media very in good few, i guess at least in few words in few words ron what do you do a few words i know what you do but tell people what you do few words few words even though the show is not about me we are a law firm that focuses on on on, on appellate practice and litigation support here in the state of Florida. Thank you for asking, Anna. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank, All right, you. So Thank you, you too. Thank you for having me. Thank you for asking those questions. And uh, it's very, very, very good to uh, teach and try people to understand uh, these topics about water, fire, and mold. So if you want to listen to the audio version of the South Florida Tribune podcast, I'll give you ways to do it. Okay, through Apple Podcasts, Spreaker, Spotify iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, whoever you get your podcast. And if I talk too loud and too fast, no problem, I'll do it again. Okay, so <laughs> audio, visual <laughs> replay. Apple Podcasts, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Social media-wise, okay, you can follow us at Twitter, at Tribune South. That's at, at sign Tribune South. Uh, Facebook and Instagram gets it done for South Florida Tribune. Follow us there with the big kahuna here. Is the YouTube channel, the South Florida Tribune. Subscribe, and you'll get everything we've got to offer. Let me mention some of the shows that we've got for you that you'll get. We have the Sports Exchange, No Limits, 108 Stitches Baseball Talk, Real in the Rare, NFC Football, and, yes, the South Florida Tribune Podcast. So we encourage everybody to subscribe to the South Florida uh, YouTube channel. You'll make sure there's a lot of variety there. And coming up after this broadcast, we have No Limits. 
Uh, our website's www.southfordertribune.com. We have a section in there for the Motor City uh, Monitor where we're able to just have some Detroit news. After all, that's where I'm from. But we also have our media distribution partners send us uh, information. We also have columnists as well, as well as all of our broadcasts are there. So it's a one-stop shop, news, sports, weather, you name it. We have it out there. You can email us at southfordertribune at gmail.com. And LinkedIn, Scott Morgan, Roth. the only time you're really ever going to hear my last name on it, whether you can pronounce it or not. It's another day for another. No, but the best tip I can give you folks out there, since Mrs. COVID protection is out there, mask up and do all the right things. But I'm going to tell you right now, folks, if you don't watch this broadcast without a pen and a paper and take notes, you're in deep trouble. That's deep trouble because there's a lot of information here. So with that said, on behalf of Anna Diaz Granados, Ron Renzi, this is Scott Morgan Roth of Motor City Madwell. Thank you for joining us for on this edition of the South Florida Tribune Podcast. We'll do it again next week. Good night, everybody. Good night, thank you.